Genesis chapter 1, verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Uh, when you introduce yourself to someone, um, to maybe to meet for the first time, I just wonder what words you use. Um, sometimes when I meet someone for the first time, I'll introduce myself as Pastor Cotter or Reverend Cotter if I feel that I want to make an impression or make a mark on uh, my encounter with them. Um, but if I if I don't if they're friends or or close family um, and I meet someone, I might just turn around and say, "Hi, my name is Ed." Um, just call me Ed or call me Edwin. Um, and really, that's what happens in Genesis chapter 1, that, that God bursts on the scene and, and God decides to introduce himself by saying, Hello, my name is Elohim. My name is the Creator. My name is God Almighty. Essentially, it says, In the beginning, Elohim created the heavens and the earth. The Bible includes more than 100 names for God the whole way through it. And it's amazing that, that, that it's this name, Elohim, that God decides at the very, very start of the Word of God to introduce himself. The word Elohim literally means the strong God, the mighty God. And this word used over two and a half thousand times the whole way through the Bible, over and over and over again, the Bible reminds us of God's strength and God's power and God who seems to be able to overcome anything. And sometimes we face obstacles in life. Sometimes there's mountains that we have to try and overcome. Sometimes the mountains seem so big and they just seem to be no way over them or no way through them. But we need to know today that Elohim can move mountains. Elohim can come, overcome the biggest barriers. We have Elohim in our side. And God has made his supernatural power available to each one of us. In fact, all we have to do is ask him. All we have to do is talk to him. And Elohim will come and help us through the problems and the situations that we find ourselves facing from day to day. Let's pray. Father, you know what the problems are. You know what these people are facing today and what I face in my life. And I just ask Elohim, the mighty God, the God who is bigger than all things, the God who can overcome, to break through and to work a miracle in our lives today. In Jesus' name, amen. May God bless you today and every day as we go through these readings through the Lent period. Amen.